All right, this week we covered well over a millennia, well over a thousand years. And so it's important not to get intimidated by that. Instead, to step back and to think about, all right, what are some of the big themes that I can pull out of this? And keep in mind those guiding questions that I have from the lectures, the prompts that I have for the historical analyses, help keep you on track, the questions that I have for the readings as well. So now we've kind of gone through how you might think about creating stability in Vedic civilization, how Ashoka tried to do that in the context of his ruling in the Mayoran Empire. Now it's up to you to put those together and to try and draw some conclusions to take it a farther step. So if you can think about who might have composed these, what would their purpose be? Anytime you write something, anytime you compose something, you have an audience, you have an intention behind it, right? Whether it is uh, a letter to your grandmother, an email to your professor, a phone call to your parents, a text to your friend. There's some driving factor and you're approaching it from a particular perspective. So if you think about that with, you know who wrote the Rock Edicts, you can probably make a pretty educated guess about what type of people would have either composed or perpetuated the Mahabharata and the Rig Veda. Then you can step back and say, okay, what things are similar? What things are different? Why does that make sense? And why is that important for these folks? That's really your final paragraph in your historical analysis, is taking that analysis to an even higher level. We're going to do this each week. We're going to work on what you've developed the weeks before, how to read a text, how to pull out what's important, how to answer a question. Now we're adding comparison to that. Next week we're going to add another level so that by the end of this course, you know how to read a text, understand the argument the author offers, think about why it was composed, think about who the audience was, Think about what maybe is omitted from that source. Think about how other people would have perceived it, what other perspectives might have been offered. And then finally, think about why it's important, what it can teach us about the historical moment in which it was produced and in which it was consumed. So thanks for watching along with this tutorial again today. Um, and next week, we're going to keep moving right along to China. Have a nice weekend.